Let's go, Joe. Let's go, Wack. Let's go, boys. Stay relaxed. Keep pumping. Wrong box. I'm not running in these shoes today. My bad. Nine hours, that was incredible. Oh, that's a good way to start the last taper week. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's go eat some hay. If anyone can remember to have me show you that picture, remind me somehow. Twitter, comments, make it happen. Gotta say, it is strange to uh, leave the house when the sun is up. It's nice, it's kinda nice. What a training block, oh my ma. Just slowing life down a little bit. I've actually never driven the entire main street in Georgetown on the way up to Beerstadt. This is cool. It's just an old historic mining town. Slowing life down, slowing it down. Taper, taper. Scrape in the sky one more time. This is it. Oh my my. It's uh, surreal. It's, it's unique, strange, uh, abnormal to be starting the run at 8.40 rather than 5.40 a.m. But this is it. The, uh, the hay is in the barn as we like to say, all right? So that's right. Runners need hay too, everybody. 
Beer stat, we're coming for you one more time. Nothing crazy, just getting up and getting down. Getting one last little, uh, one last little dose of red blood cells up here, and then we're just in the home stretch. Oh man, thanks for coming along the journey of this training block. Every training block is so unique. You know what I mean for everybody? It's a like so many, I think I talk about this every training block probably, sorry if, if I'm repeating myself, but every training block offers so many different lessons for us runners. And especially I'll say the contrast between trail and road, uh, it just, uh, I'm even gonna park the, in the exact same spot where I parked last year uh, to wrap up last year's Pikes Peak 2020 training block. So as I always say, enough talking. Let's get out there, get a little vertical one more time. a fork in me that's it that's it six days of rest let's do this let's do this feels good that was a that was a solid solid training block man we'll take it ever grateful you know legs are legs are a little tired right now to be expected by the way there's fresh snow up here Right there, uh-huh. Legs are tired. That's why the hay's in the barn. Oh man, it feels good. Hmm, huh. nice. It's been a slice. That's what my grandfather used to say. Grandpa Leonard. He used to say it's been a slice. Oh man, I love it. He was a World War II veteran. POW. When things get hard out here, I think about him. He was actually captured twice, escaped twice. POW over in Italy. Amazing. Okay. It's been a slice. And it's it's been a slice for Joseph Damore throwing down at the US Mountain Running Championships yesterday at uh, Mount Hood, Oregon, taking third place behind Joe Gray, Max King, Joseph Damore. Not bad company to be with, Joseph. Unbelievable. Here's some shots. Shout out to Steve, uh, videographer Steve. You know Steve. Steve was out there filming for all of you and just unbelievable race. Played it really smart and he's going to world. So the World Mountain Running Championships are going to be in Thailand. Unbelievable. This is the same race that I went to down in Argentina with Walmsley, Hayden Hawks, Wacker, Joe Gray about uh, two years ago almost. Unbelievable. So, oh, Joseph, I love you, brother. Congrats, man. That's been a, so oh, it's been a long time coming, man. So let's cheer for Joseph down in the comments. Also, 
I mean, I, I got I got a cheer for, for Max King. Second place, I also heard, I think Joseph was about 10 seconds back from Joe at the top. 10 to 12 seconds is what I heard. Unbelievable, shout out to Joe as well. But Max King, 41 years old, qualifying for the World Mountain Running Championships. In long distance running, we often talk about, or I like to talk about at least range. Shout out to my CU Buffalo teammate, Steven Pfeiffer, who is an All-American at the 10K distance in cross country, but also, um, I don't know what his highest place was at the NCAAs in the 1500, but that range, 1500 meters up to 10K cross country, unbelievable range, very talented. Shout out to Pipe of Life, but Max King running the Western States 100. I know he didn't finish last, uh, this past June, but I mean, I, it's just like so exciting. It gives me, Max, if you ever see this, you're giving me hope as a 36 year old to keep turning that doorknob. You're five years older than me. You've got a decade on Joseph. I mean, that gives us like so much hope to keep, to keep working and frankly having fun for another decade. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So Max, like that was, uh, that, I wish I could have seen that in person, but man, all right, we're going off the mountain. I got to stop talking. This vlog's going to turn into a 30 minute vlog. All right, we'll see you down in Denver. Test, 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 one, two, three, test, one, two, three, everybody, here we go. Starting the day in the kitchen, ending the day in the kitchen with, I've never filmed here before, and this location, ah, it's like the natural light coming in from these big old glass door windows, unbelievable, and the sun is setting, oh, mwah. I wish you could see it, but uh, I'm just gonna leave the camera where it is for now. Okay, here we go, comment of the day, question of the day, talk about some hay in the barn. Here we go, Alex Race, you get the comment of the day. He said, does anyone else watch Seth's shoe reviews knowing they're never even gonna buy the shoe? Ha ha ha, Alex, I appreciate the, I guess that's a good endorsement that you know, like yesterday, the Puma Deviate Nitro Elite, which I think Puma is moving in the right direction, very exciting, but at the end of the day, there's so many shoes out there on the marketplace, you just can't buy them all, run in them all, so Alex, I appreciate you tuning in, despite now knowing that you're not going to buy the Puma shoe. All right, here we go, hay is in the barn. Um, whew, hay is in the barn. It's hard to process, frankly. And, you know, we were in Mexico, feels like yesterday. Uh, the training started to ramp up, and oh, did it ever ramp up. And I'm gonna give you thoughts on the taper and on final preparations before a peak race. And by the way, let me just be frank, like Naples half marathon, big deal. Toledo half marathon, big deal. But you guys know, my bread and butter is the mountain racing. That's where I, that's, so this is a peak race, but this is a peak of the peak race. The Pikes Peak Marathon coming up on Sunday. By the way, oh, I'm so glad I just remembered. If you are gonna be there, you care to film, contribute to the vlog for that day, film with your phone, horizontal, send me the clips, email them over, drop them into Google Drive. That's probably the best way to do it. Um, and if you have nice cameras, oh my goodness. So especially if you're gonna be up on the mountain, like going or up on top, oh, it'd be amazing to get some footage from up there. So just putting it out there right now, but hay is in the barn, meaning the hard training is over, all right? And I misspoke up on the mountain. It's five days of resting. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Easy running, chilling out. Uh, strides, all right, I've made a vlog about how to avoid sleepy legs in the taper, critical, uh, but at the end of the day, it's time to rest, chill out, and we're done. The vertical is done, the work is done, now I gotta sleep, which means I gotta call this vlog, but the hay is in the barn, meaning you've harvested, and there's nothing else you can do but show up on the uh, starting line, fit, fresh, and healthy, okay? Time for that second one. Fresh, 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 fresh. Just like gathering that fresh hay and putting it in the barn. Question of the day, uh, what, is, what are the final steps to make sure your hay arrives at the barn ready to rock and roll? Meaning your legs, your overall body, your mental state, you arrive at that starting line ready to rock and roll. Okay, what are a few steps that you take 
in the final, let's call it the final like two to seven days, okay, of a training block, two to seven days, because then uh, we'll talk about the final, final preparations later this week. Thanks for being here. Mm. And I think we will talk, uh, toss it to the how to avoid sleepy legs, whoa, how to avoid <laughs> healthy, <laughs> how to avoid sleepy legs in the taper right here, right here, right here. Mm. All right, everyone, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you too tomorrow.